This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com. Ag news, market prices, ag careers, and farm real estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. And by FarmCenter.com. It's the only farm management resource center you need. In business, there are three Ds that can cripple a company, death, divorce, and disability. Farm businesses are no different. Today's uncomfortable question with Elaine Fraze is, when you die, does your family know what to do? Um, doesn't exactly make great, you know, make you the most popular person at a party talking about this stuff. But it's an important subject to deal with, isn't well, it? Well, and like you say, Kevin, it's another one of those bulls in the middle of the room. Well, of course, because we're all going to die. We yeah. don't know when. But are our affairs going to be in order and are we going to leave a mess? And our families just buried our, our mom, mother-in-law, mm -hmm. and uh, her affairs were all in order. And uh, we had time to double check that as she was dying. But my sister died in an accident. My mother had an asthma attack, mm -hmm. died very quickly, no time to say goodbye. So one of my personal spring projects will be to get a, a binder together to get my affairs in order for our family as well. Sounds kind of uh, strange and depressing to consider mm -hmm. that as a uh, a gift to your family. Well, I do, and I have a very good speaker and farm family friend, Jolene Brown, mm -hmm. and she's at JoleneBrown.com, mm -hmm. and she took a 14-hour road trip with her husband and said, Keith, we're not turning the radio on today. We're going to talk about um, what do you want done with your body when you are dead, and that's the exact topic wow. of her article that's on her website, and I have her permission yeah. to send people to JoleneBrown.com, yeah. and it's a huge gift, Kevin, because I'm an executor of two estates, and I've already spoken with these people to get their affairs in order so that I'm not left helpless when the, when the event happens. And it is painful. I, I mentioned to you off the air here, I, I had a colleague uh, some time ago and he came to to clean up his parents affairs and unfortunately the if the, the paperwork it, it was just all over the place mm -hmm. and he said it was a very painful process it was a very sad process didn't know where anything was didn't know who to contact and um, yeah he just said to me don't do that and you see, when you have the ability to communicate your wishes and intent, then you'll understand why. And I'm a big believer in understanding why. So what you need to do is get a binder. You need to get the documents. There's all kinds of helps. Uh, Manitoba government uh, used to publish something uh, at their website. And, and you can go online. You can talk to your financial planner, your funeral director, your lawyer, all your team of advisors. All of them have different little tools that you can use. The main thing, Kevin, is just to do it. And with a computer, you can you know, update yeah. your, your agreements, documents in the computer, and then print them off and let people know where they are. It's not that hard. It's just another one of those, how are you going to reward yourself for doing this? <laughs> well, and I guess it's one of those things, we just have to see it in light of how we see other issues. Like, we don't seem to have much problem uh, having the discussion and, and updating life insurance because right. we know what that's for and that's what a will is about so you go and you update the will because you know it's one of those things we're all gonna die oh you don't update your will I have <laughs> I've, I've got clients who go oh you know what we have 20 years has gone by of course you do but I'm just being sarcastic yeah, yeah. but you have a conversation is not a contract and that's yeah. something that Jolene is also famous for saying and I use that often in my workshops promises are not a contract right. put your wishes down and, and we've done another uh, segment on who gets grandpa's tools yeah. write the story behind who's you're getting in your gifts or giving special items to and yeah. and just get your act together right. because you mentioned three D's there's another one the fourth one that Dr. Um, Klein Felder from Texas A&M yeah. says is disillusionment. Oh, really? And so I have been in this conversation with family where they are talking about the affairs. The death has happened and the will is being processed and there is disillusionment. Oh dear. Yeah. Maybe divisiveness, is that yes. another one? Yeah, we could add probably a probably few more Ds. Probably we could. And yeah. it's unfortunate it didn't need to be that way, you're right, because so, this isn't rocket science. No, and it? so what do you need to know when I die? Hmm. And my gift to my children and my husband is having that in order for both of us 
and for the children as well because they're adults now and they have assets and they have social insurance numbers and mm -hmm. and um, are starting to build their estates as well so there's yeah. there's just work to be done and make it fun get a good labeler get an organizer yeah. but reward yourself because and then Kevin I'd really love is for people to send me an email and tell me that they've done it okay I had a woman last year who read one of my articles and then called with a sad story because she said Elaine we were this close I was holding your article and then we never did it okay. and then the business partner died yeah. without a will okay so as unusual as that sounds uh, there's the challenge for everybody watching that so yeah. if you go ahead and do it email Elaine and, I'd really um, like to know it made a difference yeah. Elaine by the way is the author of planting the seeds of hope and you can ask her questions or send her your uh, confirmation that you actually did this at elainephrase.com you can actually call her 866-848 8311 and you can watch these segments online as well at agvisiontv.com Next time on Ag Vision, we'll introduce you to some of the new faces of farming, young people who are blazing a trail and leaving a path for others to follow. These farmers are very aggressive, very smart, and very digital. We'll have their stories next week on Ag Vision.